Hey friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of chords inside a circle and the properties of similar triangles, then here I am ready with an interesting problem. We have a square. The midpoint of one side is marked. Now I am drawing a circle across the square in such a way that the marked midpoint lies on the circle and the opposite side of the square is a chord of the circle. Now my problem is which one has the larger perimeter, the square or the circle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. Before going to the mathematical explanation, let's approach the problem intuitively. I am splitting the figure like this to get a major portion and a minor portion. I am considering the major portion only. Now what I am going to do is just rearrange the figure like this. Then it is clear that the black colored arc pieces has more length than the red colored line segments. Which means in this major portion the circular arc has the larger length. And since the major portion contains the large majority of the perimeters of both circle and square, we can intuitively say that the circle may have the larger perimeter. But still, it's an intuitive possibility only. Now let's approach the problem mathematically. So first let's give some notations to each vertex. The square is denoted as ABCD and the midpoint of BC is marked as P. Now let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, ABCD is a square. Secondly, the side AD is a core of the circle. And finally, P is the midpoint of BC which is a tangent to the circle. Now what exactly is our aim of this problem? It is to find which one has the larger perimeter. And this is the structure of our problem. So always keep in mind. Well, there are many ways to solve this problem. Here I am discussing two methods only. Method 1 using the properties of chords in a circle and method 2 using the properties of similar triangles. Method 1 using the properties of chords in a circle. Draw the diameter PQ. Due to the symmetry of this figure with respect to this diameter, it bisects the chord AD at the point R. Therefore, AR and DR are equal. Let's take it as A units. That implies AD equal to 2A, which is the side length of the square. And therefore, PR also will be equal to 2A. Now we have to note an important property of circles and chords. Consider a circle and two chords which intersect each other. Length of each part is given by A, B, C and D as shown in the picture. Then the theorem says the product of A and B is equal to the product of C and D. Coming back to the figure, let's take QR equal to X units. Now observe the chords AD and PQ. By the property of chords, PR into QR is equal to AR into DR. Therefore, 2A into X equal to A into A. By simplification, we get X equal to A by 2. Now, if we take the radius of the circle to be R units, then PR plus QR will be equal to 2R, which is a diameter of the circle. That means 2A plus A by 2 is equal to 2R and therefore radius of the circle is equal to 5A by 4. So now we have side length of the square is 2A and radius of the circle is 5 by 4 times A. Then what will be the corresponding perimeters? For the square, Perimeter is 4 times the side length, which is equal to 4 into 2a equal to 8a units. That is, perimeter of the square is 8a. At the same time, for the circle, perimeter or the circumference is equal to 2 pi times radius, which is equal to 2 pi into 5 by 4 times a equal to 5 pi by 2 times a units. This is approximately equal to 7.854 times a units. Now see the difference. 
Clearly, 8 times a is greater than 7.854 times a. Therefore, the square has the larger perimeter. Now let's move on to the second method, using the properties of similar triangles. In our figure, we have drawn the diameter PQ. Because of the symmetry, this diameter perpendicularly bisects the chord AD at the point R. As we told earlier, AR equal to A and PR equal to 2A. Now draw the triangle APQ. As you can see, it is drawn in the semicircle, and so the triangle APQ is a right triangle. Now we have to note an important property of similar right triangles. Consider a right triangle. Draw the perpendicular from the right angle corner to the hypotenuse. Now we get two right triangles, and the theorem says that those triangles are similar right triangles. That is, in short, in a right triangle, the perpendicular drawn from the right angle corner splits the triangle into two similar right triangles. Now coming back to the figure, in the right triangle APQ, AR is the perpendicular drawn from the right angle corner. Therefore, triangle AQR and triangle APR are similar right triangles. And hence, by the property of similar triangles, the ratios of similar sides are equal. That is, AQ by AP is equal to AR by PR is equal to QR by AR. Now in this equation, consider the second and third terms. That is, AR by PR equal to QR by AR. Substituting from the figure, we get A by 2A is equal to QR by A, which implies QR equal to A by 2. Now the remaining parts are similar to the method 1. That is, observe that 2a plus a by 2 equal to 2 times radius. That is, radius r equal to 5 by 4 times a. So here also, side length of the square is 2a and radius of the circle is 5a by 4. Calculating the perimeters, we get perimeter of the square is 8a units and perimeter of the circle is approximately 7.854a units. So in both methods, we got the same answer. That is, the square has the larger perimeter than the circle. And that is the solution we are looking for. Remember our intuitive approach. By intuition, we told that the circle may have the larger perimeter. But mathematically we proved that the square has the largest perimeter. So in mathematics, the intuition need not be correct always. It can be wrong also. And that's all about this video. My email ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.